Hey y'all, welcome back to Sammy's Place. As you know, I'm Sammy. For those that are new here, welcome. Hit the subscribe button and leave me a comment. Let me know what you want to see. This is Sammy's Place and we do everything channel. So today's video, I'm going to show you how to remove natural nail polish without nail polish remover. Something has come up where this nail polish is no longer going to be working for you. So first thing you do is you go look for your nail polish remover, cotton balls, your tissue. But guess what? You don't have any nail polish remover. Or worse, you just spilled it. So what are we going to do now? You may have products around your house that can just get it off. So in this video, I'm going to show you facts, steps that I can do to remove my nail polish if I don't have any nail polish remover and I don't feel like getting any or if I don't feel like going out I'm just gonna do it at home let's go hack number one unfortunately I don't have it in my house so this hack is not gonna work for me but if you have it by all means it'll work for you you're gonna take vinegar and lemon cut that up and go ahead and put it in the vinegar mix it around it doesn't matter how much I guess you put enough to cover your nails like a little maybe an ounce in a glass or so mix it up mix it up mix it up real well blend it then you're gonna take a cotton ball dip it into the vinegar and the lemon juice get the cotton ball really soaked really soaked and then you're just gonna apply it on each nail wait about three minutes maybe four set a timer and then when you're done take a piece of tissue and it should come. Hack number two, deodorant. It may sound a little weird but there's some purposes in deodorant that you can actually use. So I have this suave here and then I have this Old Spice for men here but I do suggest of the two this one. Something about this gel kind of deodorant doesn't really work well it works better if it's like the powder type okay so what you're going to do with this is you're going to use a cotton ball you can use this the other side if you didn't do lemon juice and this deodorant i leave like when they finish like this i'll, I'll keep them for hacks like this but don't go hoarding now break a big chunk of deodorant up you're going to break a fairly big piece and you're just going to press it on each nail and it, it's kind of like you're rubbing it in your armpit you're gonna make it creamy and rub it in rub it in. it doesn't have to be fully blended just rub it there rub it there rub it there and once the deodorant is on all of the nails like that and then you're gonna get a alcohol wipe or alcohol pad like this or you can use from alcohol from a bottle, put it on a bottle of tissue or some kind of pad. So you're going to wait for the oven for five minutes, and then you're just going to start rubbing it off like that in five minutes. Hack number three is just the alcohol pads. The only reason why I say this doesn't really work so well and it's time consuming is because the properties in the deodorant somehow with alcohol together you know you go like that and it just comes right off but if you use the alcohol pad alone you can actually get it all off but you're going to be sitting here see there's some there on it already but you see how it's still full you're going to be sitting here layer after layer keep rubbing keep rubbing keep rubbing so it looks like this see how i keep rubbing and you can see there's some some is coming off but not a lot so if you have time, you can just use alcohol alone. But if you have that five minutes, I suggest that you put the deodorant first. I don't know what it does, but the deodorant really makes you be able to slide off all that polish. My next hack is a filer. So it could be like this. So what I'm going to do with the filer, and sometimes the nail beds can get really um, jagged. So when you file, you want to make sure that you file it equally until all the polish is removed like this. See how we got the top surface off? So you're going to like hold the skin down here on the side and just keep 
filing like that so now we're going to move to this side and you have to be really careful when you do this because you don't want to file your finger and get sore you just want to come in at the nail angle like so I'd come here and I'd file it like that I wouldn't be filing my cuticle I wouldn't be filing the side of my finger and I just go in like that see so it's working the nail polish is coming off so you just keep on keep on my next hack is to color it again. And you might be like, what? Color it again? So, let me show you. So if you have this nail polish right here, let's let's do the pink one, let's do the pink nail. And don't mind my nails, guys. I look like this for the sake of it. So here's my pink nail. What I'm going to do first is get some alcohol. You can use alcohol pad again. Or use alcohol on a cotton ball. Put alcohol on that nail, all over that nail. Then you're going to, while it's wet, put another coat of nail polish. And it could be any color, any color. Sorry guys, I can't do this with my camera. Okay, so we got it like that. While it's still wet, take a makeup wipe, and, and this is just a regular makeup wipe. Take a makeup wipe, and you're going to go left and right on it. Left and right on it. There we go. The pink is gone. It's still a little bit on the side there, and on the top there, but we can just keep going. So again, alcohol pad, alcohol pad, see there's still some polish there, so I'm going to repaint it. Repaint it, I do the whole thing just to assure that it all come up. While it's still wet, makeup wipe. And there we go guys. And my last and final hack is for those that are a little more um, experienced in using tools. I don't recommend this if you're younger at age and you look around your house and you don't have alcohol, you don't have lemon juice, you don't have vinegar, you don't have deodorant. This last hack is for the experience only because you can really cut yourself, you can cut your nail beds, it's very dangerous. So if you're under 18 and you're watching this video, just make sure you ask an adult for help, okay? So now, you have your nails like this, you're going to keep them flat, and you're going to take your tweezers and you're going to just scrape it off. Remember, only experience, because if you cut over here, you can cut your cuticle down and it's painful. But you want to focus on just getting the polish off and not the nail layer some people dig deep into the nail and that is no you just need to do the surface picking like that and when you come around the sides smoothly don't be sharp on the edges here and you're just going to get all of that off like that focusing on removing the nail polish and not digging into the nails nails are very soft and it may sound weird, but when you like tap your nail, you hear that they're hard, but they're actually very soft tissue. And the reason you're saying, well, what? How, why is it soft tissue then if you're putting on the nail polish? Actually, if you have a cut under your nail or there's um, an injury under the nail bed or you store the nail polish and the nail polish is cold, then you can feel it under the nail. Like if I cut myself and I put nail polish on, it's going to be burning. That's because the nails are soft and you can feel temperature through them. So 
when you do this you don't want it to scrape and hard because it is soft under there you don't want to injure yourself you just want to go like that in slow motions and again these are tweezers with a pointed edge but you can also use the, the, the ones that come with the nail kits but this is the, the last resort to all the other products and you must be safe when you do this and you're digging on only just taking off the polish like this another fact about the tweezers is when you do this you do, when you are digging your nails can get a little rigid so you want to make sure that after you scrape off your polish if you don't have any other other products I showed you and you have to resort to the tweezers your nail bed you want to make sure it's smooth so you get your filer and then you just go like that and that make it smooth again before you repaint. Find this video useful. Make sure you share it with a friend. As always, thank you for watching Sammy's Place. I hope this video was helpful to you. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what you want to see next. Give me a big thumbs up and subscribe. See you soon, guys.